This is a cool project. Turkey tail mounts. As you can see we got the tail already cut out from the bird and washed and preserved. Now we are blow drying it. So I'm gonna go um, through this process as fast as possible to save some time. I'm using a pet dryer. They're, they're the best. They're the best. And uh, as soon as we get the tail, um, tail feathers totally dried out, we'll start setting them on on the board. Okay, the tail is totally dried. Now we have a foam board attached with a piece of blue foam on um, on the base area of it. So it just gives you the give give the tail the proper curve to it because uh, we don't want them to sit 100% flat. So basically, we just um, set them uh, set the tail feathers right on the board on the blue foam and start adjusting all the. Um, every single feather where they're supposed to be sitting. Some people like to put some grits and uh, lines on their board to make sure that they're doing a symmetric job. I just eyeball it and it works fairly good for me. And um, adjusting the separation of the feathers from one another is very important. So basically as soon as you feel that you're in the right area, you cut out two um, half circle cardboard just like what you see in the picture and start pinning it down. This is just initial pinning, it's not the final. And as you go, you start to adjust all the, the separation of the feathers so they're all separated with the same distance, which, uh, which is gonna make a beautiful mount at the end. If you um, don't pay attention and if, the, and if each feathers um, basically distance is different from the other one uh, it's not gonna look right and it won't be as attractive as you can ask for so as soon as we feel that every single feathers are uh, basically placed in the right area we, we put the second uh, piece of cardboard and start pinning it down now for the bottom, for the quills, when they're sticking out, as you can see from this angle, I like to use cotton and thin crazy glue. It works the best. And of course, a little bit of a spray act activator to make it um, set as fast as possible. So, and then as, as soon as the first layer of glue is uh, all set with the spray, I start shoving in some pieces of cotton between the feather quills make sure that they're all um, attaching um, properly with the same density of the cotton and then I saturate that whole cotton with thin crazy glue not the thick one and not the medium ones the thin ones and then with a little bit of a spray activator we make sure that it sets right there. This method, if you use this method, you can start the tail mount and finish it the same day and enjoy it on the wall. You don't have to wait for it to set or anything like that. It's fast, it's secure, and it's really reliable. On the back side of it as well, I do the same thing. Unfortunately, the angle of the video is not showing exactly what I'm doing, but it's pretty much the same. Oh, here you go, I changed it. So it's pretty much the same. We apply a layer of cotton and saturate it with more thin crazy glue. I use a lot of crazy glue in the shop. So once this thing sets, the combination of crazy glue and cotton creates a very, very, very strong and light bond. So I really like it. So anyway, I'm, uh, I just squirted a whole tube of thin crazy glue on the cotton, make sure that it is uh, pressed down and I spray the activator to set it right away. Now we flip it the other way around, 
just to give it more strength, I will add some Bondo. Of course, that's our remain glue to the board too. So the board has already been put together. But as you can see, the bottom of the, um, basically the, the third bottom of the tails, they're still not as pretty by the time we put that board all, all, all over it. So I have cut out some feathers of the back mantle of the of the same turkey and I applied it right there as you can see and I uh, I just place them right on top pin them down with that cardboard and cut the excess off crazy glue them to place and make sure that it's uh, attached right to the uh, feathers underneath it just for for a better show and um, a little bit of a plastic will allow me to press my glue down on the feather without getting attached to anything or glued to my skin. So and then, as you can see, right away, you can take the pins off because the glue is set already. So now, we're going to work a little bit on the board. Take the screws off again. There's a little bit of a, a recessed area for attaching the beard. I like to create a little bit of a tassel, leather tassel, for around the base of the beard. As you can see with the square piece of uh, leather, I just cut a whole bunch of line, uh, uh, basically strips off of one side and I wrap around the beard to create that tassel. This is just, um, I used to do a lot of leather work, so I like working with leather as well. Make sure it's not too long. And then to um, reassure myself that it's going to be attached permanently, I sew that leather right through the beard base. And um, it actually creates a really good uh, secure bonding unless you get you get the beard and pull it down so hard to rip it apart which is not the case and um, I'm using some fire line fishing line wrapping around the base of the beard make sure that it stays together and then of course a little bit of a glue like crazy glue and sewing Yeah. So this way is really secure and I really like it. Now to attach it to the back of that board, I just make a loop with another piece of uh, leather and I create a um, staple, I, I just put a staple inside that groove in the back of the board and I just uh, attach it right to that staple. Very secure and uh, very simple and efficient. You know, you can come up with any kind of ideas on how to attach that uh, beard to the board. And uh, this is the way I like to do it. One single staple and then the excess of that leather strap can be tied and cut off. So this video is fairly short and fairly informative. I think the whole time that I spent on creating this was about I think three or four hours that I uh, made a time lapse out of it not too fast not too slow so you can see what I'm doing so anyway removing all the cards from the tail as you can see the tail is fully glued and ready to be attached to the board now I place it down on the table just making sure where it's going to be attached and uh, with 
mixing some bondo, fresh bondo, and applying it right on the top of the feather quills, I'll start gluing it to the board. I'm just adjusting the whole board to see where it's going to be placed by the time I'm ready. Okay, now here's the bond of work. I usually, um, that's a job that I wanted to, to do it quick because I, I don't want to have the tail laying on the table for too long. So I mix a um, piece of, uh, a little bit of a, a bondo with, with a good amount of hardener so it sets fairly quick. And uh, I apply it right on top of the quills, right on that area. Of course a piece of plastic would um, avoid gluing it to the table. So you can see I'm just applying it heavily in that area and just applying it right on, applying the board right on top of it, press it down till it sets. Now it sets and um, that gap, the bottom of the feather quills to the board, it's gonna get filled up with more Bondo and a piece of felt, black felt is pre-cut and adjusted to that area so by the time I apply the Bondo it's going to be finished. And a little bit of a hot glue will make your turkey tail mount ready to hang on the wall. Well coming up to the end of the video the rest of it is quite understand, you know, easy to understand uh, what's going on so I hope you enjoyed the video. Get a turkey tail and set it on the board for yourself. It's beautiful. Thank you very much for watching.